Here are some reasons why not to go into cybersecurity. What's going on guys? My name's Cyber Tom. My channel is all about IT education. If you're interested in this kind of content, watch this video first if you like it and you like anything else, then hit the subscribe button and we're happy to have you on board. So I like to be transparent in my channel with the audience and I just want people to understand the pros as well as some of the cons. So today we're gonna go into some reasons why you shouldn't go into cybersecurity. So I definitely don't want this channel to be like a lot of other channels that I've seen out there where people are kind of fluffing up and they're not really giving you the full picture and I think that I owe that to my subscribers and to my viewers that may not be subscribed to understand some of the cons of IT um, in particular cybersecurity so let's go through some of them today and see if maybe you're still hanging on at the end of the video and you still want to join us a reason not to go into cybersecurity is if you're somebody that likes the same things every single day so if you're this kind of person Person, it's probably not going to suit you best to go into cybersecurity. Every day there is a different task and there's different things to do that you're going to have to manage and work through. Everything's not set in stone. If you like to wake up in the morning with your coffee and your same five tasks and do it every day, that's fine, but it might be a good reason not to go into cybersecurity. Now, if you're somebody that likes change, if you're somebody that likes a different pace throughout the day, uh, one day it's slow, one day it's fast, one day you're working on this one day you're working on that then this is going to be a great field for you and i think that you will flourish but if you're not like i said this is one of the reasons why i don't think you should get into it now another reason maybe you're somebody you're in college now and you're like i can't wait to get out of school why can't you wait to get out of school? Not because of a job or the money or anything like that, but your reason to get out of school is because you are just done learning. If that is you, this is not the field for you as well. That is another reason why I don't think you should join cybersecurity. If you're somebody who can't wait to get out of university just to be done learning, believe me, I totally get it. And I totally understand a thought process of that way for a lot of people. Me, however, I'm not like that. I love to learn. It's kind of a weird thing, I guess, when you're looking at it from the outside, but there's a lot of other people that join me in the same love of learning. If that is you, then come into cybersecurity because you're on the opposite side of this, and I do think that you should join the field. Cybersecurity is changing on a daily basis, and it's just impossible not to get through it without learning. I could tell you every single day that I learn something new naturally. It's just the field that we're in. So if you're not really feeling that, it's fine. I just wanted to bring it to your attention before you go ahead and jump into this career. Funny story, my family is actually mostly blue collar workers. So a lot of the people in my family love to work with their hands and not so much work with their mind. So that's gonna bring me to my next reason here. If you're somebody that does not like to use their mind when they work, I have a buddy of mine who is an electrician that told me um, uh, the other week and he was at my house. He said, I love to do work that, you know, I just go down and I don't have to think. I just manually do it and time goes by fast for me. Well, that's great for most people. People. I always say you need to find what makes time go by fast for you because that is what you love to do and that's what you are intrigued with and that's what you won't grow bored with. So if you're looking to get into this field and you're somebody that doesn't want to use their brain every day and doesn't want to think and be critical thinkers and troubleshooting things and complex, you know, intellectual issues, then this is also not going to be something that you want to get into. Now, if you're somebody like me, I'd rather work with my mind than my hands. That's just who I am. I get frustrated when I'm working with my hands. Time goes by very slow when I'm working with my hands. So that's a good indicator that you'll know if this is something that you'll like to do long term or not. But I did want to bring it to your intention. Now, the last thing, are you the kind of person when you're working or when a boss is giving you new work, you're like, please don't give me too much responsibility. It's gonna make me pressured. I don't work well under pressure. 
I start to get frazzled, I start to mess things up. If that's you, this is gonna be another reason not to get into IT or cybersecurity. This is not what you want to be in if you are that kind of person. Now, you can work through those issues if you would like. Some people would rather not, and that's okay. Again, I think that it needs to be brought to your attention. So if you're somebody that loves responsibility and you're like, yeah, give me more responsibility. I want to feel like I'm in, you know, um, control of something that I can make better of and that maybe other people don't want to do. But for me, it's a test an accomplishment. If I finish, well, then this is perfect for you because you're going to get a lot of work and you're going to be handed a lot of sensitive data, sensitive projects. And you're going to have to make sure that one, you are protecting this information. You're not allowing it to leak that you are treating this data um, with the utmost respect because this is other people's lives and information that you have access to. So it's a large responsibility being in cybersecurity and you need to make sure that you are okay with that weight of responsibility. Because if you're not okay with the weight of responsibility, it's going to weigh you down day to day and it's going to feel like too much pressure. And make sure you remember that when you're looking for positions. I think even some positions in the field are less responsibility driven than others. So it's not a total nix from the field, so to speak, but it's a good thing to keep in mind that the field is a high responsibility type of field. There's a lot on your desk at any given moment and you have to work calmly through that. If you don't think that's gonna be right for you, then just find something else. That's the whole point of this video. If you do think it's going to be right for you, or you think that you could work through that stress, then come join us in cybersecurity. We need the people. So I hope you guys like this video. I really just wanted to give you a brief, basic understanding of the reasons that I would highly not suggest people to come in if you fall into one of these categories, unless you plan on changing your ways and you know how you deal with things and you're up for that task on top of cybersecurity, then I would say probably not the best fit for you. But if I'd mentioned most of these and you're like, oh, that's no problem. I like doing that. I like doing this. Then you're good to go. I'll catch you guys in the next video. And thanks for watching as always.